Yesterday, Tenogen Round 11, Part 3 of 3 finally launched. Part 2 had, well, the amazing Harold Grack skin that I am still wearing now. It's been a couple of weeks now, because it just looked really nice. I don't pick up a lot of Tenogen stuff, but that, I just had to. And looking through these, there's a few that I want to pick up, but, well, just simply won't. But... I really, really want to. Of course you have to run the game through Steam on PC to get these. They will eventually land on consoles. So, ooh, the top four are of course the new ones. We will start with the helmets. Because Harrow's Hyrofa helmet? Ah, I don't know what it is, but just having the two things on the top that move when you move the helmet looks really nice. There's just something about the danglies and the physics in the game that are being they're just so well used these days. Oberon's Terros helmet? Nice take on the horns rather than the kind of things he's had in the past where they've just gone straight up. And to be fair, if I can get the light to kind of... I don't know how well this will actually record, but there's like a textured quality to this that doesn't look that bad. And of course, the PBR type effect, or whatever that is called. Adding gold to this is going to be fairly easy, remembering this is of course his standard colours, so it's gone yellow. So that, once it's kind of turned gold, will look really nice. As you can see, one big horn, there's the normal tree type effect that comes off, and then his actual skin has them going backwards, and to be fair, that is a much nicer helmet. This is a really nice touch because they go forwards instead of backwards like the other wonders. Moving on to Sandanas, there are two of these. The first is the Sova Harness, which, yeah, again, added physics. That looks kind of nice. Even the Slider Sandana, the other Sandana, has, okay, it's not as standout-ish, but the ribbons that are attached to this also have physics and I really do like the things sticking out the side here. This is a pretty nice, much more bulkier than the Solida Sandana, but still really nice. First of the heavy blade skins, the Kilzorith. This looks amazing actually. Not the best. It is still really nice. It looks way better than the standard Galatine does because though a really nice blade in itself. This new Tenogen skin just looks way better. But there is a better skin. Very much suited for one particular weapon. Whereas the Myth Mithra heavy blade skin. This is, looks like it's very much meant for the war. But either way. This got to be hands down out of everything in this so far. Probably the best looking of all of this. There's just something about this that just looks absolutely amazing. That bit in the middle, which is very much warish. Damn, that looks really nice. Actually choosing between the three heavy blade skins, they're actually all really nice. But sadly, I think the Ten Gokken skin here... It's much more subtle than the other ones, but... Oh, that just war-looking thing looks absolutely amazing over the rest of them. But I, I just choosing between this, there's too many Tenogen items. Not, of course, to forget there is actually more than just those heavy blade skins. It's just finding these within this can be a bit problematic. That, still very Maya-looking and still nice in itself. In two minds about that and these, these were ridiculously close with the shooting flames out the end, the kind of worn blade effect to these. If I used the Tonfa more, this would definitely have been the best of this because they are very Grenier-ish and them flames coming out the back, the, they just looked absolutely amazing and I'm not even going to try and pronounce this because I would just ruin it completely. 
Then there is the actual skins for the frames. And Norris is here. To be fair, the Egyptian aspect of this made me look at this and go, wow, this is actually really well done. I just don't use a Norris enough to justify this, which is a shame because a Norris is a really good frame. Coming in a very close second to probably some of the best frames to this, just simply for the helmet on this has got to be Mirage's Mithra skin. It's just something about this that looks really nice. That helmet looks amazing. I kind of wish the helmet was buyable separate to these and for those who keep asking why I cover the price on these it differs depending on your currency so I kind of cover it up because five dollars can be five pounds can be five Canadian dollars or five Australian dollars it just differs depending on where you are this is an insanely tempting skin I'm actually tempted on this more than I am the weapon skins weirdly even Nezha's new skin looks absolutely amazing. The hoop looks really nice. Frisbee, whatever you call that thing on her back. Yeah. Plus the use of colours on this. Actually really, really well done. Huh. Saren's Nighter's motor skin? Nice colour combination, but... I'm not sure if that's her standard helmet or not. That looks very much like her standard setup, but just with a different colour possibilities, different colouring zones, different pattern, whatever you want to call it. To be fair, I kind of wish Saren came like that as standard. Not that Saren's normal colours look bad or anything else, it's just the pattern looks way better on the new one and there is definitely more to it than her standard skin. Banshee's sonority skin actually looks amazing as well. There's a lot of these that look absolutely amazing. This, probably one of my favourite helmets that she's actually got because she's got two other ones. And was looking through and didn't realise this is actually the first skin that she's got. The only thing that I wish you could do with Banshee is take that thing off her shoulder. Because then would look weird, because obviously Banshee has that, but would still look really nice. I'm actually tempted on this just for that helmet for Banshee. And as you can see, two helmets and then the other one, which is why I'm saying that helmet looks nice. Having the skin with it is kind of an added bonus. Now, I actually looked all the way through this because the whole list is in alphabetical order and kept having issues finding them, so kept having to search for them. What I didn't realise is, if I actually set it up from here, you can see all of the new stuff is actually listed right at the top of this, which makes it easier to find the newer stuff than the older stuff. And I don't know how long it's been in here, but I didn't notice these either. You can search between sandanas and other stuff. No idea how long that's been in there, but that makes finding these so much easier. So, to be fair, I think if I was going to actually pick something up from this, it would have to be Mirage's skin, then the sword, then Banshee. Because the rest of them still look nice, but if I had to pick the one thing, I take it back. It's not going to be the Heavy Blade, it would have to be Mirage's skin, because it looked a little bit nicer than the Heavy Blade skin, which is a bit of a shame because I really like that Heavy Blade skin. But there is just something about Mirages that's really nice. But because I picked up something from the second drop in this, if I pick anything up from all of the Tenogen stuff, it might be one thing per round. So I don't have a lot in here because... You Picking them up for frames you use is probably better than going, oh well that looks nice, and then never using that frame. Hence, I've already got the Harrow skin, so sadly won't be picking these up. Maybe. I don't know, that Mirage skin is still insanely tempting. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.